I'm Rebecca Hay, founder and creative director at Rebecca Hay Design. I've been doing this interior design business for more than a decade, and yet I've never designed my own home. So I'm about to embark on my own home renovation. My goal, to make it sustainable and healthy. Is it possible? I really don't know, but we're about to find out. Welcome back to my Hay Home Reno. This is an exciting day. We're doing trade day. Trade day is the time in our process where my team comes to site. We bring our trades, contractors, flooring, whoever is required by the design to walk through the space, take measurements so that we can get rolling with the design. Today's a little different though because I'm doing this on a crazy short timeline. I've already moved all of my furniture out. Chris and I had a tiny little window with no kids to pack up, so we packed up. So the space is a little empty, but I still think it'll be a fruitful exercise. I've been indecisive about a lot of things. I'm really relying on my team today to help me pull it together, just decide and move on. So we'll see, let's go. So Nano came, our contractor, and I walked him through the space and it was really funny because uh, I really was curious about timeline and whether or not it could be done in time for Christmas, which he doesn't think, but he's cautiously optimistic. That's so good. can we, how, how long can we, how long will it take to do this? Well, we're going to try as fast as we can, meaning on six weeks. Yeah. About two weeks starting today, then I have to move back into the basement of this house. No. Yeah. So it's going to be messy. We won't be living up here. Yeah. Yeah, but at least the demo will be done. Yeah, the demo will be done this week. <laughs> uh, I showed him the kids' bedrooms. The air vents need to change. Those air vents are too close together. And now with hardwood, I can't leave them in the middle of the room because I will have no room to put a rug. So he's gonna move that. I talked to him about the bathroom. This is the biggest part of the renovation. And I really want, really, really want to reuse as much as we possibly can. So he said it's possible to keep that counter and repurpose it, which I truly hope it will only work if we stick with the single sink, but I like that it's an option and that we could probably save a bit of money as well. The more we keep out of the landfill, the better. I also talked to him just about the master bedroom. We're taking out that closet, so he needs to remove the walls and the doors, and then they need to patch and, and repair it so that I can install a really pretty brand new, uh, not sort of like a walk-in, but a dressing room. So he's bringing his team in fast and furious. We're gonna start demo. I know that it goes super fast and that things tend to slow down, so I'm prepared for that. But I'm really excited. I've worked with Nano for over a decade and they, he just has the best team. So I know that I'm in good hands. We also had my team through. This is something that's typical of every design project. I always bring my team, guns a blazing, we measure everything up, we troubleshoot ideas. So this really wasn't any different. I had Claudia and Alyssa from my office come to measure and kind of walk through the ideas that I've been going through in my mind. So the carpet obviously is coming out, so I need to pick a stair runner. Uh, so that's something we're gonna need, I'm going to need help with. Yeah. And then we're going to need to repair these stairs. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they're in rough shape. Okay, this is our grand principal bedroom. <laughs> um, the carpet obviously is going to go. Yeah. The big uh, change. Like corner wall of windows. Uh, and if you look closely, what do you see through the window? Come through this window. <laughs> the biggest sort of conversation that we had was the bathroom. So this is where I'm going to need your help because I want to either donate to Habitat for Humanity or I was like you can even put it on the side of the road see if someone takes it. Like there's nothing wrong with this medicine cabinet, oh, the, yeah. the faucet, the, the knobs, oh, that, yeah, people will right? That. The ring, the lights. I don't know. I feel like Two Sings is overrated, but I don't want to shoot myself in the foot for resale because this is not our forever home. But you right. know what? You're renovating for you. We tell that to our clients. I know we do. Like an ensuite makes sense to have two sinks. This is just the whole family's bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's just so one sink for the whole family. No, but it makes sense <laughs> that like one person is using the bathroom at a time as opposed to like two people in the bathroom at the time trying yeah. to like fight for I guess I'm fighting time. between like what I'm comfortable with and what I think people want. And that's my struggle. And you guys yeah. know how you work together. You know that you don't need two sinks. 
Right. You're doing this to like, you know, stretch out the time that you are living here. You love your home. So just go with your gut. Oh my God. We'll do this. And then like literally we'll move in and the kids will be fighting over the sink. I'm telling you it's going to happen. The only other debate that I'm having that applies to the whole second floor is that hardware on the doors. Oh my gosh. I love the glass knobs. Literally, I still remember when I was house hunting and I found this house, one of the selling features for me, besides the view of that beautiful CN Tower, was those beautiful glass, vintage, original doorknobs. The problem is, they're broken. My kids get locked in their room because literally the doorknob falls off. It's happened, I don't know, once a week. So if we can keep the doors, that's great. The hardware, I think we need to replace, but I do love it. So I don't know what to do with the old hardware. Do I turn it into a paperweight? <laughs> There's gotta be something. We also had Anthony, my flooring guy, come to trade day. He looked so dapper. All right, Anthony, this Good is Anthony. Uh, he does all of our flooring and carpets. Yes, thank you. Studio 321B, and uh, you look so dapper. Well, you look great. I'm wearing Lulu's and the sweatshirt, and you are wearing... I love Look it. at you, you're wearing a... What is that, a vest? It's a vest. I mean, that's amazing. He came to look at the floors. We looked and assessed the stairs. They're a little bit rickety, and also the paint is like peeling. So he recommended that the painter do all those touch-ups. He's going to find me a great runner and quote what that'll cost. I know doing stair runners is not cheap, so I'm a little bit nervous on that one. And then of course we looked at the floor. Anthony and I talked about removing all of the carpet and replacing it with hardwood to match what's on the main floor. It's important to me that the house have a sense of cohesion. There's nothing worse than going to a house and there's one type of hardwood on the main floor and a different type on the second floor. So we're going with a solid red oak hardwood floor upstairs and we're staining it to match more or less, if we can match it exactly, what's happening downstairs. Everything is Canadian. Good. We finish it here as well. CRI ratings are extremely low. We use water base. Okay. Water base, that's really important because it won't off gas. Correct. Amazing. And it's pre-finished at the factory, so you get a really stable finish. So this is something that I've really battled with because I love the look, as you know, of like, on-site finished hardwood. And this is something that is a bit of a luxury. Like in a luxury home, you have site finished hardwood. The problem with that is that the refinishing and staining releases a lot of toxins. Tons of toxins. I went through it once personally. I will never go through it again. Oh, really? And I was actually living in the space at the time. Oh, God. Today, with site finish products, they've come a long way than, you know, 15 years ago when I had that project done. It's a lot safer, a lot cleaner, and a lot more sustainable. So we're going to do that. They're going to nail them in. He said it's going to take one whole week, um, and it's going to take about three weeks to get the flooring material in. So hopefully timelines line up, but I'm a little nervous that we can't move up until the hardwood is in. And so if we can't get that product in time, that might be a delay. You can probably feel like the floors are not level. Yeah, there's there's some gaps in certain areas. Anthony did point out that our floors are uneven, and I do know that there have been walls removed in the past. So underneath the carpet, when you stand, you can feel the difference in height from one old room to the next. So that should be interesting. Hopefully they can level that subfloor relatively easily without too many extra hours or dollars, so. Okay. There you have it. That was trade day. A little atypical, but still pretty helpful. I can't wait to start demo. And honestly, time is of the essence. Christmas is a coming. I really hope we can get this done in time. Stick with us as we go through this crazy journey to renovate my own home.